hello people welcome to a new video so I've always wanted to I've always wanted to do a 24-hour readathon but I felt like I never had the time but now summer vacation is ending soon so it's my only chance so let's do this so the first book I'm like kind of halfway through is night crawling um, yeah so let's finish this off first and I'm gonna time myself and every time I stop reading I'm gonna stop the timer first thing first very important no phone time so reading mode is activated it's 11 1 so I guess we start the timer now one two three Alexa, play Amber Mark playlist. Amber Mark Wings Planet, Fairy from Spotify. So basically the story is about Kiara, a 17 year old, and her older brother Marcus that are struggling to make ends meet. And while Marcus decides to follow his rap career dream, Kiara kinda has to take the lead and find other ways to pay their bills. And she then gets into night crawling, aka prostitution. And when she becomes a key witness to a massive scandal, her whole life is turned upside down. And we see her navigating these complex emotions as well as this very strange and difficult situation. Hour one, done. So, ah, oh shoot, I forgot to say at what page I was at before starting. But whatever. Now I'm at page 213. You know, as you can see, I'm kind of almost done. Um, yeah. This book is very dark. Very dark. And the way it left me shook every two seconds, like, oh my god. Mm -mm. Okay, so as I was saying, the book is like very dark and what what I find like the most sad about is that it's not like that far from like fiction, you know? It could be it could be the reality of a of a girl somewhere, you know, which is heartbreaking to read about. I'm like, damn. Like some people really just don't have the choice to live like that. And also it makes me realize my privilege, but honestly while reading I would get like goosebumps because I just felt so bad and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, usually I like to read more laid back books, but you know, sometimes gotta branch out a little bit, so I try to read something new. And I don't regret it because it's pretty good, but it's still very sad and kind of heavy, so after finishing this book, I'm definitely gonna read something more light-hearted because <laughs> my heart just can't handle this. Let's continue. Bon appétit! I'm absolutely shocked, y'all. Why would they beat up a nine-year-old? What? Bruh. That's just wrong. Oh, we are an hour and 42 minutes in, and I just finished my first book, obviously. I was already like halfway through it before starting the challenge, so that's why it was quicker for me to finish it. But um, I think I'm gonna rate it four stars. 
I don't really have a system when I rate my books. I just go with my gut feeling. Like it was good, but it was not five stars worthy. Like if I compare it to other five stars book that I had, it didn't really live, leave me with the same feeling. So I'm gonna go on Goodreads. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> and update everything but this year for the 2023 reading challenge i put it at 50 books and i'm at 52 books already yay i need to pick out my next book i didn't even do a tbr so for my birthday i got an e-reader so maybe i'll unbox this right now and try it out and read a book on this i feel like that would be nice excited i don't know what book i want to read i want to read something lighthearted after reading this because this book was good but it was very graphic and very dark we got it i'm so excited because i used to read those books on my ipad but first of all my ipad is heavy and also it hurts my eyes we're going to put it as currently reading and there you go. This is what I'm currently going to read. One of Us is Back, which from what I've looked at real quick is like a mystery thriller. And it's supposed to be in the series of One of Us is Lying. I read this series like a, really, a while back. I think like in 2020. We're almost reaching the two hour mark. Okay, so we are at hour three and update. I'm currently wait thirty percent in with the book. Uh, so far, it's good. It's quite fast fast paced, which I like. But the only thing is, um, I don't really remember the second book. So, like all of the characters, I keep forgetting their names and like confusing them because it's been like maybe a year or even. Like probably like a year and a half since I've read the second book. So yeah, my memory is completely. But other than that, it's pretty good. There's like the intrigue is starting right now. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen, the plot and everything. So that's quite interesting. Okay, so it started raining. So now I'm back inside. I put on some PJs because I already know I'm not going outside. So I'm 40% in. Almost gonna reach the four hour mark. Let's do it. <laughs> snack some popcorn and some chips and I'm 59% into the book and it's starting to get like the business is starting you know I'm trying to I'm trying to guess who's the culprit but honestly I don't even know 
I feel like it's leaning towards the mom. I'm not gonna say more because I don't wanna spoil anything, but I think. Okay, y'all, after reading this past couple of pages, I feel like I'm right. Like, the mom is so suspicious. I know she had something to do with it. Come on now. Come on. She's lying to her family. She probably had an affair. Like, come on. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the reveal. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hell no. Um, don't tell me I was wrong again. What? So, we're at hour 5.39, almost hour 6. And I finally finished the book. Um, it took me by surprise, I will say that. I did not guess the culprit right. And yeah, the only, I don't know what to rate it. I think I would rate it like 3.5 because the only thing that really disturbed me for it to be a four was like the characters. We just had too many characters at the same time and it was really confusing yeah i think it's only really that it's definitely not a five star read and yeah yeah i think i'm gonna go with 3.5 but it was still a good read like a cute not cute it was a good little like mystery hello hello Okay, so after reading quite a violent and graphic book and then reading like a murder slash thriller mystery, it's time to read a romance book. So this one is called Summer Reading. We are at 5 hours and 39 minutes, so we're like a quarter, almost a quarter through. Let's go. So the story follows Samantha Gale, a chef, moving back to her family's small cottage in Bennett Reynolds, the hot new temporary librarian of the island's library. They kind of have an awkward meet cute, but then they keep bumping into each other and eventually become friends. Samantha also helps Bennett in his quest to find his dad that was only supposed to be his mom's summer fling, and we see their friendship blossom into more as we progress into the story. We are at seven hours and 13 minutes. I'm at 26% of the book. And honestly, so far, it's not really giving like love story, TBH. And also, ow, ah, it went right in my eye. Oh my God, that hurts. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, so far it's not really giving romance book like they kind of become friends first a little bit i guess which is fine but i feel like it's a bit slow paced like can we get on to it please anyways also i prefer romance books when it's like a dual poe because i'm nosy i need to know what both the characters are thinking Let's put this away. Oh, oh, it's cold. <laughs> so, what I like in romance book is when both of the characters have like a passion project or just 
are very ambitious like the girl she's a chef like she loves to cook and everything and the dude he's like a big bookworm so he loves books and reading and i just think it's so cute like following their story and seeing how you know they do their time <laughs> yeah i just love it i love seeing like passionate people falling in love it's just so cute and when will it happen to me Okay, y'all, it is 2.42 a.m. Yoga was tired, so I just put the timer on pause. I think I'm going to go to sleep and then continue as soon as I wake up tomorrow morning. So the timer is at 10 hours and 48 minutes. And for this book, I'm 74% done with it. So, so... I'm going to get some rest and be back tomorrow stronger and better. Just woke up. It's 11.33. Uh, 10 hours and 48 minutes. Okay, so I just finished the book. Um, the timer said 11 hours and 30 minutes. Pretty cute, but the pacing really disturbed me. So that's why I think I'm going to give it three stars because... I felt like the timeline was just wrong. It was weird. And it didn't make their relationship really realistic. The pipeline from strangers to kind of friends to lovers was just off. I don't know. It's just It was off for me. And I just couldn't really believe that they were actually in a relationship. Like I said earlier, they really gave me like friend vibes and not really more than that. Like, I didn't really see the flirting. And then when he kissed her for the first time, I was like, oh, that was just so out of nowhere. I didn't believe it. So, yeah. I'll give it three stars. The story follows Noel, a very experienced and lonely hotel cleaner that starts a new job at her 21st hotel. You heard that right. This girl keeps stealing souvenirs from each room she works in and then she just changes hotels. This time around, her routine doesn't go how she truly planned. Um, she's actually starting to enjoy the company of her colleagues there. And maybe she might want to stick around longer. We shall see. <laughs> I finally received my Kobo cover as well as the pop socket that I ordered. So I just finished decorating it. And then you flip it like this and you can hold it. Very practical and this is the front. Super cute, I love it.
I finished the other book, but I accidentally reset my clock. But I still remember that the timer, no, no, the stopwatch was at 17 hours and 38 minutes, so it's fine. But it still sucks because they won't have like the, the final shot of like 24 hours. <laughs> Hotel 21, and I gave it three stars because like, I don't know, the story was fine. It was not extraordinary, but it was okay, I guess. And the plot was a little bit like this, which sometimes I don't mind reading just for the vibes. So I was like, since I was kind of in the mood for that, it didn't really bother me, but I know that sometimes it does bother me. So yeah, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Like the story was not like, wow, but it was not bad either. It was just like, okay, yeah. I can't believe it, I've ruined it! Okay, so the next book that I picked is kind of like fun fantasy. The series is called Villains, it's like a retelling of different Disney villains. So the first one is Ferris of All, which is a retelling of... Um, is it Maleficent? What's that? Ah, from Snow White! I think that's the, the Wicked Queen from Snow White. So now I have to restart my stopwatch, but keep in mind, I'm not going to do 24 hours again. All I have left is 6 hours and 20 minutes, so let's go! Peace and good night. Actually, good morning. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. 